Evening YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino and we are looking at a beer. Who would have thunk that, right? This beer is right here. It is an IPA. Yay! Uh, it is 6% alcohol by volume. It is Green Magic IPA from Dead Frog Brewing. Sent to me by the one and only Dan from BoozeReviews.ca uh, here on the YouTubes out in Alberta. He is a great guy. We uh, we like to call him West Coast Nick, even though he's not really on the West Coast. Um, him and Nick have the same facial hair. Uh, he At least he likes a better hockey team than Nick. He doesn't like the Canadians. Right? <laughs> That's something to be proud of. Um... We got the bass glass out. You can see water sticking in it. I did uh, give it a strong rinse. And there we go. Now, I know I, I gave it a little giggle as, oh, of course. That's just basically me talking about how there's IPAs everywhere. What's this? A West Coast IPA with juicy hop flavors. Uh, uh, with a green, sorry, with a crisp, balanced finish. I'm hoping that it has some nice juicy flavors. I love juicy IPAs. Uh, this all being said, uh, I do like having a wide variety of beers. So, I mean, I do like getting IPAs and stuff as well as other styles. It's just, there just seems to be IPAs everywhere. Everywhere I turn, there's an IPA. Hey, IPA. IPA, 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 IPA. It's just everywhere. It's everywhere! That being said, like I said, I don't really care. I'm just... That is thick. That is thick. Wow. That is juicy looking. It looks like Tropicana apple juice, really, but with, uh, with some off-white head. Tropicana apple juice, but with off-white head. That, like, brassy, bronzy weird brown color. It looks good. Scent? The smell, it says it's a West Coast IPA. The smell would make me think just a regular American IPA. It's kind of, it kind of comes off syrupy, uh, piney, uh, a little tinny. At least out of the glass, it's reminding me of your average uh, American IPA. Bottle. Bottle has a little bit of pineapple juice and a little bit of and a little bit of blood orange. As well as that piney, tinny, and syrupy scent. So, I mean, I like the smell out of the bottle much better. And I'm noticing a lot of times I like the smell out of the bottle of a IPA more than out of a glass. Also, I don't have a glass that makes any true bowl shape right here. So it uh, isn't the greatest. It's just a regular uh, pub glass, basically. But it's a Bass Pale Ale glass. I had to put a pale ale in a Bass Pale Ale glass, right? Sure, it's an India pale ale, but it's still pale. Let's just drink the beer. Cheers. That's like a pineapple, an orange, and a cedar tree. I had sex in my mouth. Pineapple, orange, cedar. A little bit of uh, dirtiness too, like an almost an English-esque dirty, dirty breadiness almost at the end. Um, and not really anything on the forefront. It's not like this isn't sweet on the forefront or really malty or anything like that. It doesn't. It doesn't come off as a super malty. Uh, IPA, which is which is normal, but I mean those just normal kind of roasted kind of malty flavors up at the forefront, they're not really there. It's like all the hop flavors and then that kind of bready biscuity dirtiness at the end. All in all, I like this. I do. I excuse me. I appreciate this beer. This is a nice little beer. Is it the best beer I've drank? No. Is is it a beer I would go out of my way to get? No. But is it a beer I have any problem whatsoever drinking? No. And I mean, you you kind of want that. So Green Magic IPA, I wouldn't really say it's very magical. I wouldn't say it's very green. 
uh, but it does taste good. It looks cool. It has a nice name. It's six percent alcohol, so it could get you drunk. It's in a small bottle, so uh, it sh probably came in a mixed pack or in a six pack or even as a single. If it was a single, it should be fairly reasonably priced. So I mean, it won't break your, but it won't break your budget. It won't kill your wallet. Um, all in all, I have no problem with this. I don't. I don't think it's something that I would go out and buy again, so I don't think I could give it over a 7. Stylistically, it's it's worth at least a 7, because, I mean, stylistically, it it hits those uh, West Coast IPA notes. Not not amazingly, but they hit the notes. Um, if you just follow the BGCP, but who gives a shit what the book and BGCP says, right? I don't fucking care. Uh, but for me personally, I'd probably give it a 6, 5 out of 10. I have absolutely no problem drinking this. I like this. This is a good beer. I just don't think it surpasses enough beers that I've had for me to actively go and look for it. But that's perfectly fine. Thank you very much, Dan, for sending it out. Au revoir, Abiento. See you guys soon. Bye bye. Mwah.